hey what's going on youtube uh this is russ rt spooling uh just want to make a little video on the gtx 980 kingpin uh that i got about four or five days ago man it's been a fantastic card runs everything smooth uh 1440p um this isn't going to be a full video review on it yet i just wanted to go ahead and uh kind of show you what it looks like the new custom rgb led lighting's awesome i went with like a light kind of purple right there on the front face with the right above where the kingpin is it's got a led on the top of that and i've got that glowing red that fades in and out kind of reminds me of kind of like the terminator or something but uh man there's just freaking millions of color combinations you can do with it it's really cool uh, trying to get that as neat as possible which it's pretty clean in there anyway um it's on the i7 3770k with a saber tooth motherboard um sniper 1866 ram uh, i've got a samsung 840 pro ssd with a couple of two terabyte hard drives um it's a nice system um the cpu possibly could be holding me back i don't know i mean i, I still think it's a good cpu but uh, the next architecture that comes out from Intel, obviously I'm going to be jumping on that because right now this tier that we're in, it's really not worth jumping up. But anyways, I wanted to show you my clock speeds. Um, I've been uh, kind of mentioning it, what my clock speeds were. You're looking at about 13.03. Um, that's what it is. Bone stock, no offset adds, no voltage tweaks, no nothing. You know, it's pretty mild tune, uh, you know, from the factory. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to go to Valley. And it's going to be on Extreme HD. I'm going to run this when, actually, you know what? I'm going to do custom. Turn off full screen so we can see it. I'm just run it 1920 by 1080 for the hell of it, just to show you. This way I'll be able to show you what things running factory and like I said it's untouched so it's pretty damn impressive fourteen forty two and that is bone stock I don't know of any other GPU that's gonna do that not bone stock and if people say, oh, that's not bone stock, yeah, it is. Look, there's no offsets, no nothing. You know, I mean, it's just a badass car, face it. So I'm thinking 1600 plus megahertz in the near future is going to be really easy. Uh, the temperature's 71 degrees. Um, you know, that can be adjusted. I'm just doing an automatic fan curve. Uh, so that's no big deal. So it usually idles, sits around 50, 50 to 54 degrees Celsius. Um, you know, that's because it's just on air cooled. You know, this car, yeah, it does belong on water. Absolutely. But I don't feel like messing with that. So when it comes down to it, you know, it's a fantastic card. I'm going to uh, see about. You know, overclocking it soon, adjusting the fan curve on it, get those temps down a little bit more. But yeah, man, I mean, it's uh, it's a it's a nice card, man. Anyway, just want to show you what it's running at. You know, factory boost and everything else. Um, you know, the fans I do have the Noctua uh, NHD14. Um, CPU heatsink also the Noctua fans got three 120s in the front two 120s in the back um, those these actual fans don't push as much air I want to say as the factory fans that were on this Antec 1200 but you know I sacrificed for a little for quietness and because uh, the uh, factory fans it sounded like a damn jetliner so that's why I had to change that but uh sorry this video isn't exciting i just wanted to show you how actually it performs you know at bone stock settings so there, there is still a ton of room to play on that 
And like I said, playing games, it runs smooth as butter. I mean, I have never had a single graphics card, you know, have this kind of performance. I actually did mess around with the overclocking a little bit, just doing minor small tweaks to it. Um, and I before I had a GTX 690. That's the uh, two GPUs, basically two 6As on one board. This graphics card was hitting those numbers on a benchmark compared to two 680s. So that's that's pretty impressive. But for right now, until I get uh, custom fan curves down and start getting into the voltage then we'll know what's up with this thing but as of right now man this thing is an absolute beast for a bone stock card yeah it's not gonna get no better than this not less you know like a ti or you know we'll see how that tight next goes but you know we all know damn well it's gonna be a 1500 dollars card so i'll probably just roll with this i don't know we'll see but you guys take it easy i'm gonna make a full video on it with overclocks and all that stuff show some game gaming footage of uh all the big games battlefield 4 far cry all that stuff you guys take it easy